just be happy, man, this evening, a good 3 0 in this afternoon. Yeah, it's great, and you know, whether you like it or not, it, it affects you, it affects everybody. You, you know, we've raised the bar massively in the last few years, and, and we have a level of expectation now throughout the board, throughout the players, throughout the staff, throughout fans, throughout everybody of where we want to be. And the last month, six weeks, has been frustrating. I think if you'd have told me standing here after the Linfield game that it would take till the end of January to pick up our next three points in the league with how things had gone to that point and I'd have struggled to see it but that's football sadly um, and I don't think there's any player or manager in their career who will ever not go through a run whether it be negative or positive and we've enjoyed some really positive runs of in the double figures teams into the, close to the 20s or whatever that may be um, and sadly as well we've experienced the other side of it where it can be highly frustrating um, where things don't go your way but I have to give credit to the players and staff and everybody because there's been no panic buttons hit um, you'll know us, we don't get too carried away with victories and if we were sitting here 12 or 13 or 15 or 18 unbeaten we don't get too carried away either and in the same stretch there hasn't been a whole hullabaloo of, of meetings or everything else that goes with it in relation to paralysis by an, analysis, paralysis by analysis as such where we haven't gone too deep into things we get our GPS, we get stat packs back from White Scout and everything else and a big part of the last six weeks has been, has been probably as, as solid as we were and, and, and where we've been I think it's been probably in the attack in the final third where we've been probably reckless more than anything else. You know, we've, we've had a lot of opportunities, a lot of good ball in good areas, but we just haven't been making the right decisions. And, and, and thankfully today, you know, we put that right. And Corrick had a few half chances, obviously, in the first five minutes, but a fantastic ball by, by Glaggan and, and Glax as well for the second goal as well. He does, and you know, you need your big players to step up, and Glax is huge for us. And, and you know, particularly here, I think the quality of the surface. It allows him that confidence to glide where he knows there's no bobbles and he knows he can go dribble and, and, and we spoke before the game about responsibility and every player doing their job and Deansies is to keep the ball out of the net and it's a great save after 10 minutes which wouldn't have been an ideal start to the game but, but Glax is to carry and to cause carnage and, and with that he does that for the first goal, he does that for the second goal and, and those are the moments in games where um, that they win and lose games. And a big week ahead and starting on Tuesday night uh, away to go and turn. Yeah, we look forward to it. You know, there's been a lot of tough games against the Glens. They're flying. I watched both the games last week. Um, and they're in, they're in hell of form at this point in time. So it's good that we've the win below the belt. We'll go there hopefully with a, a renewed confidence now and hopefully we can go on a run of our own. And uh, the January window still open. Are you still open on, on any potential incomings? Yeah, we're always trying. It's been the it's been the toughest window. I would say it's been the most amount of hours on the phone spent. And if I'm being honest, I would say this week is just going to treble that, I would think, in relation to where we're at. Um, but also it's got to be business that's right. And, you know, we've, we've said it out there. Things have gone crazy in the league. Um, we know where we're at in relation to budgets and everything else that goes with it and what we can and cannot do. So it's about trying to do the right business and the business that suits the club. The um, other side of it is we have a good solid 20, 21 man squad there. You could also argue today, you know, we had three or four new signings that played today and you're, sometimes you're better the devil than you know than the devil you don't. Curtis hasn't played all year. James has been injured and missed a lot of the year. Um, Jarvie has missed a lot of the year through the form of Josh and um, Josh and Stevie and Adam Mullen the same. And, those guys all come in today with a, a new, a, a refreshed vigour, a, a want, a hunger to want and go and pick it up and carry it on, um, which is like, I suppose, the effect of a new signing um, as well. So it's up to those guys now to, to, to maintain that standard and make sure that we can.